This is my second glass of eggnog for the morning and I'm not mad about it and I'm not feeling guilty and I'm not restricting and I'm just living my life and I couldn't be more happy about it. Alex gets secondhand embarrassment of being out in public with me. Before bed I got out my journal and I was about to start journaling when I saw that I had this book on my bedside table that I had never used before but my best friend Gemma her mum gave me this book when I went to visit her in Melbourne it's called all about you 2500 questions to help you know love and care for you and I feel like Gemma and her mum are just both some of the best people I've ever met and this book just like screams them there are 255 pages full of questions just for you to sit down an answer like the book is pretty thick and I didn't really know how I would find it if I would enjoy this if I would just get bored but I've easily just done four pages full of answering questions and it's just kind of funny I feel like I've talked about this a lot online but growing up it was very natural for me to just like agree with everyone else around me and never form my own opinions on anything big or small and I think that's why I love journaling so much is because I can just write down anything that is in my my mind in my journal and I know that no one is going to read it and that allows me to actually like think for myself and write down what I think without anyone else's outside perspective and answering the questions in this book feels the exact same way and it's a few of them have really gotten me thinking some questions are so deep and then some are just so light-hearted some are funny some are just casual it just gives you one line to answer each question and honestly it's just kind of really fun it kind of feels like you're on a first date or like trying to get to know a friend better and just asking all of these questions and really enjoying myself like this question is do you sigh a lot like just so random but like yeah i do really sigh a lot what's been your biggest life lesson so far have you ever driven drunk do you lack routine would you like to be a twin <sighs> are you successful would you rather work four 10 hour days or five eight hour days do you say yes enough is it good to be silent is it important to offend other people like just such a good variety of questions and I'm really enjoying myself filling them in but it's also 9 30 and it's not not late at all but I've just been so tired recently ever since getting back from Hamilton I've just been moving at snail's pace I just wake up every day exhausted and now is not the time to be tired because this week is going to be so busy very hectic there's a lot going on I'm very blessed and grateful to have a lot going on but I would love to wake up after eight hours of sleep feeling refreshed and that just hasn't been happening so I'm gonna fill in a couple more of these. I feel like if I start journaling, I'm gonna be journaling for like an hour and I just don't think that I have that in me. But I know that once I start, I'm not gonna have to stop. Do you know what I mean? Let's answer these together. Me doing the opposite of the whole point of this book. What is the worst injury you've ever had? I honestly don't get injured. <laughs> is that such an annoying thing to say? It's weird because I've played soccer since I was nine years old and I've watched so many people around me get injured and I've never been injured. Do you sigh a lot? Way too much. Do you lie regularly? I don't think I do. I don't really remember the last time that I lied. Do I lie? No, I don't. Did you keep a diary as a kid? Yes. I actually had this memory pop up into my head the other day <laughs> about going away on a family holiday to like a church camp and writing in my diary in a separate little room away from the family with a glow in the dark pen in my diary that had a padlock on it. I'm sorry, but what was I writing in there as a 10 year old that someone had to look at with a torch, a special torch for that pen to be able to read and had to use my key to unlock my diary? Like what? Why did I think my life was so secretive that like no one else could read the diary? Bamboozled by myself. But yeah, I kept heaps 
of diaries. Hence me still journaling now as a 24 year old adult. What's been your biggest life lesson so far? Biggest life lesson. Does that mean like something that happened to you that made you realize a big life lesson? Or my words just came out of nowhere. Not the back legs. Oh, you can't even see. Wow, you're a long sausage, aren't you? Or does life lesson just mean like something that you've realized in life? I'm gonna say life is too short to not do right by you. I feel like that is the biggest thing that has clicked for me, especially recently, but like applies to so many things I wish I did earlier on in life and what I hope to be doing as I get older is to always do right by me. Why does your partner love you? What partner? That hurts. Have you ever driven drunk? Absolutely not. <gasps> what are the top five items on your bucket list? I actually don't have a bucket list. Should I write a bucket list? Comment down below the top five things on your bucket list and maybe I'll get some ideas from your bucket list and write my own. I don't know, like skydiving is so typical, but like I would love to skydive. And a couple of years ago, I would have written move to the beach, but I'm literally doing that next week. Bucket list, I don't know. Alex just got home and Winnie is excited. Do you want Uncle Alex to come in and say hello? I tried to say hi to Alex, but he was in the shower, so that's not happening. Winnie and I are going to go to bed, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. I wanted to quickly thank Furbo for sponsoring this weekly vlog. As we all know, I'm a very anxious dog parent, and if I can't see Winnie in my sight, I am always just stressed and anxious that he's getting into something he shouldn't be, something's wrong, and so having a dog camera for me was just a must. And I've been trialing the Furbo 360 camera for a while now, and I'm really obsessed. It has everything that I needed to have, and it makes me feel so much more at peace when I leave the house. It has a full HD camera with a 360 rotating view, and it also has auto dog tracking. So this camera just pops down on the surface, and it's swivels a full 360 and tracks your dog wherever it's going which is really ideal because if you're putting your dog in a big space one camera normally wouldn't be able to see every angle of that room so being able to spin the camera around for a 360 view is so ideal it also has an adjustable treat toss which i definitely do too often if i see winnie doing anything that is good he gets a treat and it makes me feel better about living at home it makes him happier because he's getting treats because the camera can move you can turn it to whatever direction you want the treats to fly out and it honestly is just so fun. The camera is connected to an app which is first of all so easy to use and secondly can send you a variety of different notifications. You can get barking alerts, continuous barking alerts, activity alerts. So if you just haven't checked your camera in a while and haven't even thought about checking in on your dog, if there's anything going wrong, Furbo will let you know. It also works in the dark which is like kind of spooky but so ideal. I'm really surprised at how clear you can see everything in low light settings. It just has great night vision. You can also interact with your dog at any time. You can hear what's going on on all the time and you can press the little microphone and speak to them as well if they're getting into something you can just say no through the camera and they'll just stop it's kind of like having a babysitter at the palm of your hand it's pretty ideal <laughs> i also just feel like this is the cutest dog camera i've ever seen and it matches the aesthetic of my house so incredibly well i'm gonna go plug it in and show you where i put it this is the hallway table where the camera sits and can you not tell me that that is the cutest little camera you've ever seen look at it spin look at it go so i'm just spinning this right now on the app can you see it just rotating i can see all the way down the hallway i can see into Winston's bed right next to the camera and then if I spin it all the way back look at it come in <laughs> it's so cute ignore my legs in the camera but I'm gonna flick Winston a treat you just press the treat and flings right out of the camera and when he's just a happy boy and if you just take off the little wooden top that is where all of the treats go and honestly I flick Winston treats all the time hello and I hardly ever have to fill it up it's such a good amount of room for all of his treats and that's airtight as well which is stunning great patience buddy I'm always just feeling so guilty about leaving Winnie at home so tossing him treats checking in on him when I'm not home getting alerts when he's doing anything naughty it has just brought me so much peace and makes me feel so much more comfortable about leaving my house so if you've been wanting to get a pet camera for a while or didn't know which one to get, I would highly, highly recommend the Furbo 360. They're currently having their Black Friday sale and the code Georgia will get you an extra discount. So I'll leave all the information linked down below for you. I think Winnie's waiting for some more treats. Are you looking for some more treats? Are you being such a good boy? Okay, I'm done. I need to stop. <laughs> I just got back from running quite a few errands. I have never driven to so many different stores in my life. And now I'm looking at everything. I'm like, how did this take me so long to get? I'm kind of confused. Are you going to Coles, first of all, to get these kebabs? The mini chicken teriyaki kebabs. And they are so good. Grace and I had them the other night and I'm hooked. So I got two packs of them and a carton of eggs. I also went to Chemist Warehouse. I needed more of my... 
Am I in focus? I'm not. So sorry about that. More of my CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion AM SPF 15. So I got a new one of those. The main reason I went to Chemist Warehouse was to get this brush because I don't know what's happened because nothing has changed, but the hairbrush I use currently hurts my hair so bad to the point where I'm standing there like closing my eyes wincing while I'm brushing through my hair, especially when it's wet. And then I use Grace's while we're away and it's so good. So I got this one from Lady Jane. It gets the knots out, but it's just really gentle. Oh, I love it. And every time I go into Chemist Warehouse, probably for the last like year, I'm always looking to see if they have Cloud by Ariana Grande. They never have it because it's so hard to get. And then I went in today and they have it. So I bought it. <laughs> this just smells so good. And I've used my friends before and it lasts so well. Oh, it's so nice. And look how cute the packaging is. I also went to Kmart and got some underwear. I then went to Officeworks and I got some things so that I can start packing ready to move next week. Every time I've moved, I've always gone to my parents' house and borrowed all of the supplies that I need. But I feel like it's about time that I just go and purchase everything that I need. So I went to Officeworks and I got this kit. It's the packing and moving kit. So it has the tape dispenser with a roll of tape a sharpie and a stanley knife which would be super helpful and then i saw this and it was kind of an impulse purchase and like definitely not necessary but i also just feel like it would be so helpful divider thing that you can put in boxes i'll just see how i go normally i just wrap all of my plates and bowls and cups and stuff in my linen in like bed sheets and stuff instead of packing them all separately so we'll see how this goes and then while i was waiting to check it out i saw this roll of christmas wrapping paper and it was just really cute it has a little combi van with a koala and santa in it and i thought it was really cute and last but not least while I was out, I put it to my parents' house because I had a package arrive. And I'm pretty sure this is for Winston. And he doesn't even know. Hey, Winston. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Keep shining. Oh my gosh. You're the first person to own our new car restraint. Literally beat my dogs to it. <gasps> Winston. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I literally have been putting off buying one of these for so long for no reason other than I'm just lazy. It's a car restraint. So this plugs into the seat belt and this clips on Winston. This clips onto his harness and that way he's tight and secure in the car. And it's the same color as his harness and lead, which is also from Harley and me. They also have their Christmas collection in here. This is the bandana, little combi vans, Christmas trees, candy canes. That is so cute. And we have a matching scrunchie and a little bow tie. I actually am so excited for Winston since first Christmas. You're spoiled. <laughs> it says dog toy with extra loud squeaker. We're in for a treat. Sorry for all the dogs watching this. Time for bed. Good boy. <laughs> yes. Where are you going with that? <laughs> You're so weird. Good boy. Oh, straight back to bed. He's being so strange. To be honest, it is probably the biggest toy he's had, but he is going to carry that around to the house for at least the next few weeks. <laughs> Good morning. Why is my hair oily? When I just washed it, Winston sitting on the floor behind me, just looking at me, sad because he thinks I'm getting ready to leave him. Who's gonna tell him I'm not leaving him? I actually managed to get a fair amount of packing done yesterday. If you've moved house before, you know what I mean. But the start of packing feels so intimidating and so daunting, and it was just so hard to like actually get started and know where to start and like see a little bit of progress. I would say that my office is like 90% done and it's not going to be 100% done until like I actually need to move so that feels really good to have something done. I also decluttered my pantry last night so I'm going to pack that today. My car is getting work done on it today so I literally like can't leave the house so I'm forced to just stay home and pack which is a very good thing. I have a friend coming over tonight who's going to go through some activewear before I donate it to see if she wants any and then we're going to go for dinner and that's my only plan for the day. I do feel like packing feels a little bit more manageable now that I've started. It is just such a big task and I don't know why I move so often. <laughs> Obviously I know this move is the right thing for me and I'm proud of my decision and I'm so excited but right now I am questioning because it is hard. <laughs> but while I was decluttering my office I found these three products from Invisible Zinc. A tinted moisturizer, a face and body mineral sunscreen and a tinted day wear mineral shield and I want to try one for my face so I can have some sunscreen on my walk but I don't know which one to use. I'm tempted for the tinted moisturizer SPF 50. I'm actually really proud of myself. I've been really great with my sunscreen recently. I mean, I should be great with it all the time, but it's a hard thing to stay on top of, you know, but every day, even if I'm only in the sun for like 20, 30 minutes, I'm putting sunscreen on for my walk. I'm wearing my hat. My scalp hasn't been burnt in weeks and I'm just so proud of myself. Sensitive skin formula, lightweight mineral shield. I don't know what that means. Apply carefully my stained clothing. Yeah, looks promising. Ooh, it's thick. Oh, I'm all of a 
sudden a bit scared. Oh, I thought we just got be real. I was shocked. It's just someone posting like, I feel like it's kind of just left my face a bit white and pink. Nonetheless, it's SPF. We'll see how we go. Sunscreen for the rest of the body. And sun safety queen. Why does my skin sound so dry when I'm rubbing that on? I also found this lip sleeping mask in one of my little bags. Lang got me this for my birthday and I'm obsessed with it. It is a lip sleeping mask, but I just wear it all the time. It's so moisturizing, but it also like stays on your lips for a really long time. And I appreciate it. This is my hat of choice. I've been obsessed with this hat ever since I bought it. I bought it in London, obviously. Crane tear through. <laughs> I really look awful in hats, but I've decided to grow up and get over myself and I would rather be sun safe than get right how I look. Looking in the camera, I'm questioning myself. I'm starving. We need to get this walk over and done with the mini woo-woo. Are you ready to go for a walk? Are you ready? Why are you staring at me like that? I'm scooped. <laughs> I've never looked better. It's currently Saturday night. It is almost 8 p.m. So overhead lighting. Alex and I are about to go to Kmart. How do you feel? Fantastic. So excited. Not the slow fade. I've been just packing non-stop and I need some packing essentials. So that's what we're here for. And if I see anything else that I want, I will buy. Nice. I'm just in the mood where I'm just kind of like, oh, no, you're going to buy m from Kmart? Oh, we're also going to go to Coles because everyone has been, well, Alex needs some things, but everyone has been damning me saying that eggnog is in local Coles. And if it's not in here, I will cry. I will cry. Because I do feel like our town is like late to get eggnog every year. <laughs> So I'm just waiting. Just explicitly us. I need those big bags, like IKEA big bags. Yeah. And Kmart sells them, which I never knew. Um, yeah, yeah two fifty. You can use vacuum seal bags. Yeah, but like I'm not trying to save room. I've got a truck. You know what I mean? True. I would thought that too. So come along, come for the ride. I hope I don't see anyone I know because I look like no, I actually don't look like trash. I look pretty normal. I always look like this. Alex drove my car because his car's broken. People just keep letting me drive their cars. I've just been to, driving all day you. and I didn't want to yeah. anymore. Normally I don't like giving up control and letting people drive my car, but surprisingly I wasn't stressed just then. I also really want the Christmas glasses that Rachel has. It's not looking good. Oh, it's these. They've been literally in front of us over there, Jordan. No, they weren't. Yes, they are. <laughs> I can show you exactly where they were. Can I pull them out? Alex gets secondhand embarrassment of being out in public with me. Just here. <laughs> yeah, they're the ones. Oh. That's cool. Nice latte in that. That's a big cup too. Yeah, good size. Yeah. Nice. Comes here for important things, leaves with Christmas marks. Where were they here? Oh, you're right. So nah ha ha ha. I don't know if like getting three is too excessive. They can yeah. be a new lifeline bag. Let's get next four. Now that I have these bags, I need to stop procrastinating, packing. <laughs> I just oh wow. I am just exhausted. <laughs> And I know I'm being dramatic because like I just know I am. I didn't even vlog today But Rachel and I's friends Kirsty and Ella, they both do YouTube I'll have their channels linked down below. They're from Adelaide and they came to Brisbane this weekend And we hung out with them literally all day picked them up from the airport at 8am and dropped them to their Airbnb at 5pm So it's a very long day of chatting which was literally so so good But I've just come home had dinner and honestly it's 8.30 and I would love to go to bed But I'm gonna keep packing. Just gonna put my headphones on. Sophie sent me a snapchat spam So I'm gonna listen to that and hopefully that just powers me through. I want to pack up 
about my shoes, my linen, the TV unit, and potentially the container cupboards. But the container cupboards might just have to wait. They're like, I'm putting them off. I don't want to do them. So that's the goal for tonight. And then I've already showered, so I'm just going to hop into bed. I just feel better going to bed after I get a little bit more done. But like if I went to bed now, I would just wake up stressed because I didn't get anything done today. These bags are going to be full of all of my junk. ASAP. honestly feeling really good about the packing that I got done last night and I think this morning I'm gonna just try and edit and do a bunch of emails. My vlog needs to go live on Tuesday next week and I don't know how Monday and Tuesday are gonna go. I just feel like I'm gonna be so consumed with packing the last final things that I'm not gonna have time to edit. So I'm gonna try and honestly edit my whole vlog right now. I just ate breakfast. I'm sad because I've been trying to like eat up the last of my food instead of buying more because I'm obviously not gonna be able to keep everything that I have because you know you're moving the fridge and you're packing an essay skin it's a whole thing and i had eggs and bread left and i went to toast my bread and it was all moldy which i don't know how because i literally didn't buy it that long ago so i literally just had eggs now i'm drinking a glass of eggnog alex and i have just finished our first bottle of eggnog and i was pouring this glass and it just got me thinking that in christmas past before i was tracking every mill of eggnog that i was drinking in my fitness pal so that my pt could see that i was staying on track and <laughs> Obviously you do you. I'm not going to tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. But I will say that I am so much happier in the holiday season and just life in general to see eggnog on the show and just be so excited that my favorite drink is back in stock for the Christmas season and drink as many glasses as I want to because it's Christmas and you're meant to enjoy your life. This was one of those situations where I can remember a memory and be proud of myself for how much progress I've made since then. I feel like everyone tracks progress differently so maybe this isn't like progress for you depending on like your goals and your lifestyle and what you want to be doing and aiming towards but this is my second glass of eggnog for the morning and i'm not mad about it and i'm not feeling guilty and i'm not restricting and i'm just living my life and i couldn't be more happy about it but i'm gonna take this eggnog to my office and see how much editing i can get done i think at around 3 p.m i'm gonna head to rachel's and then we're gonna drive into the city and pick up ella and kirsty again and i think we're doing like a dinner evening hangout which is phenomenal mm -hmm. 